for those with disabilities. One teenager in Lancaster County, though, did not let the pandemic define him. Instead, he turned his disabilities into super abilities. Fox 43's Matt Mazel shows us just how many colors truly are on the spectrum. It starts with a circle. I didn't really have like full motivation as much as I do right now. A motivation to be one of the best artists in the world. Yeah, like starting at the middle and then going out. Brain to finger, finger to pen, pen to paper. I first know that I'm the strongest circle and then my mind just takes over. No one truly knows what Joseph Roach is thinking. It feels like there's like somebody else in my head who gives me like an idea of another piece. Roach is a 16 year old abstract art prodigy at Mannheim Central in Lancaster County. When he's drawing, everything seems to slow down. Getting to this point though has been a whirlwind. We knew something was going on. Um, but he went to diagnostic kindergarten probably around four and a half, five, and that's when he was diagnosed with the autism. Joseph's mom, Carol, says Joseph also had ADHD and a hearing impairment. When he was born, he was considered a miracle baby. The umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck. The early years weren't easy, but the love never wavered, and Joseph's picture started to become clearer. It is, it is like a metaphor. The, the middle and it just grows. Expanding it kind of like the Big Bang. And like the Big Bang was to the universe, Joseph's mind started bursting with colors, lines, swirls, oils. At the age of 12, he discovered art thanks to his middle school teacher. By the time he turned 15, it all came into focus and Joseph Roach was reborn into JJ Roach. JJ is focused, driven, and as his art curator April Coppenhaver describes him, genius. Carol, his mom, called me and said, my son has some pieces of art that we would like to have a professional review. April is the owner of the Mulberry Art Studio in Lancaster. When she first saw JJ's work a year ago, she says it was so impressive, they scheduled a showing for a few months later. Explosive, fun, vibrant, alive. It was unique and I just loved his expression. Even after his showing was canceled due to the pandemic, JJ got better, stronger, more hyper-focused. His drawings, more elaborate. This April 2nd, he'll have his showing at the Mulberry Art Studio. Almost one year to the day, it was taken from him. Art has given him a meaning and a focus for his life. It's given him people that tell him that he's doing something good. And as long as there's a pen and paper nearby, there's no telling just how far this beautiful mind will go. Without art, I think we'd be a little lost and fearing for the future for him. And now I'm not fearing. I don't fear, because I know. And I'm thinking that my drawings could be, in a way, like another hidden secret for other people that have their own disabilities. What started as a circle is now an explosion. No longer defined by disabilities, all JJ Roach has are super abilities. In Mannheim, Lancaster County, Matt Mazel, Fox 43 News. And Joseph's family thinks aside from a few college courses, they expect his art to become his career right after high school.